Radio Magica and Umpli Veneto present St. Martin's Summer, a story about the legend of the cloak. It was the 11th of November in the year 334 AD. The day was cold and an icy wind was blowing. Winter was fast approaching. In Amiens, a small city in northern France, an old man was begging on the streets. The man was so poor he had nothing to cover himself with and he was shaking with the cold. Everyone ignored him. The old man then noticed some knights on horseback approaching. Leading them was a young man who was riding a majestic white horse. When they came close to the old beggar, the young knight stopped. Please take pity on an old man, sir. I'm so cold, pleaded the beggar. The knight looked up at the sky. Soon it would start snowing. The knight removed his cloak and took hold of his sword. The beggar, thinking that he was about to be attacked, raised his arm to defend himself. Do not be afraid, the knight reassured him. I will not hurt you. The only thing I own is this cloak and I would like to share it with you so that you too may be protected from the cold. And with those words, he cut the cloak in two halves of the same size and gave one half to the old man. The beggar's eyes filled with tears of gratitude at the knight's kind actions. The soft wool of the cloak soon began to warm him. What's your name? he asked. My name is Martin, replied the young man, but now I must go. And with that, he rode off with the knights. The old man bid him farewell, saying, Your kindness, Martin, will go down in history, and I will remember you in my prayers every day. As soon as those words left the man's mouth, the clouds disappeared and the sun shone in the sky as if summer had returned. Some of the men ridiculed Martin for having cut his cloak in two. Others understood that something truly special had happened and asked God for forgiveness for not having helped the old man themselves. Legend says that Martin slept deeply that night and when he woke up, he was amazed to find his cloak was once again whole. The sun still shone high in the sky and the cold of the previous day had disappeared. From that day on, every year on the 11th of November, people hope that warm weather will return, at least for one day, and people celebrate St. Martin's Summer, the patron saint of the city of Nenyago.